everybody and welcome back glad you could join me today on this video about our mapping system we've had a user question asking about how we could use icons and text at the same time before i jump into it i'd like to thank everybody who's subscribed to this channel if this is your first time joining us or if you haven't yet subscribed then feel free to jump over and hit the subscribe and the notification button maybe give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments below. So this is actually a fairly quick and simple video. All we need to do is jump over into our map screen.rpy and continuing from where we left off last time, what we're going to do is we're going to create an H box inside the loop and we're going to put our image button inside that like so. We're going to remove the X and Y coordinates because we no longer need those. And then after the image button, we're going to create another button. And we're simply going to put in there text Q dot name and action return Q dot name. And we're also going to put the Y align to 0.5 to put the X and Y positions into the actual H box. So we're going to put X pos is going to be Q dot X and Y pos is going to be Q dot Y. Now if we jump right back into our project and we run it again, this time as you can see we have our text and our icons all aligned together. But as you can see, there are some uh, slight anomalies with regards to the positioning of those things. So we can change those in real time. We're gonna jump back into our text file. So we've got our image button is the fixed size without changing the icons. We can't really make any changes to that. So we need to make some changes to our text. So we're going to change our text size to maybe 14. I'm going to save that document, come back into our project, and then we're going to hit Shift and R. And as you can see, that's changed the size of the text. Now it's a little bit too small now, so we can jump back in here and maybe increase that to 18. Come back in, and as you can see, it's now automatically updating. Once you've Shift R'd once, it will automatically update that. So for some reason, our text is aligning to the bottom rather than to the middle. So let's take that out and let's put that before the text. And let's see what happens. Again, still not making any difference to the position of the text. So let's try putting a wire line in our image button as well. And we'll see what happens now. And as you can see now, our text and our icons are pretty much perfectly aligned side by side. And now you can click on either the icon or the text and it will take you to where you need to be. So that's really all there is to it. It's that simple. Thank you very much for watching this video and I definitely look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye bye.